Hey everyone, welcome back to New Kevin's Creations here on Geektopia Island. I'm Kevin. And I'm Cardwell. And today we're going to be going over the fun little deck that we showed at the Deck Brawl, The Fallen Few. Yep. This deck is so ridiculous, like I, I just, there's a lot to it for what it does, and it's it's mono black for those that didn't see it, um, but, and it's Lucifer is the main, he's the J. And that's exactly what he's supposed to do is make you discard cards and just control the board as best you can. Oh yeah. And that's what this deck can do, and that's what it does really well, actually. <laughs> so, without further ado, let's delve into it. Lucifer, he is uh, the Fallen Angel Ruler. He's from the Black Starter deck. He's got Divinity 10, and he judgments for 5. 2 black and 3. Seems rough, but most of the time you will actually won't be judging yeah, him, right? Yeah, he's actually got one of the higher judgments of the rulers, but he's worth it for it. Yeah. And he's got Energize of a Black, which is okay, or yeah. Darkness. So, he's not terrible. He judgments into an only 8-8 eight, eight flyer, which that mm. kind of sucks, but his ability is when he comes into play, you do your opponent discards three cards. So you're just like, cool, you have three cards in hand, discard them all. Great. Judgment for five, discard three, I'll take it. Because, I mean, all you got to do is give it to, like, two cards, two to three cards. Yeah. And then you just wipe out their hand. And with this, you should be able to do that quite, quite a bit. Oh, yeah. We have quite a bit that allows it to get there. So for his Divinity... This deck, I actually only run Divinity 9, so you're able to get all of yeah. five of them, which is pretty neat. Um, a couple of them I gave, I gave a try to that are new, the new chant runes, and they're amazing. Like, they do so much work. But, first off, we're going to go with Black Rosario, which is his master rune. And it's two darkness for Divinity 2, and your opponent vanishes two resonators. <laughs> it's just that good. It's too good to not use as yeah. a master. Like his new chant master rune is cool, which we we do have. But well, that's in the main. Yeah, this one's too good to not have as his master rune because it's two men to kill two dudes. Yeah, one darkness for each dude. Like, that seems like <laughs> a so fair good. price. Sure, they get to choose those dudes, but who cares? I don't care. Your dudes are dying. Exactly. Uh, next up is Power of Immortality, and it's one of the new ones that I put in the Divinity deck, and it this card is so strong. Uh, as some of y'all told us. I messed up in the gameplay of it. I forgot that it comes back rested, but we'll get to that. Yeah. So Power of Immortality is a black and one for Divinity 1 chant room. With quick cast, you pay one less to play this if it's in your room area. I don't I don't know why they did that, but they <laughs> did. So target resonator gets plus four plus plus oh, and when this card is put into the graveyard from the field, put it into the field rested under its owner's control. Ridiculous. It's like a play dead, but in black, right? Yeah, it's yeah, a yeah. better play dead because you can always get to it. Yeah. Like, it's always available, whereas Play Dead, you had to find it in Kirik. But this one is just like, oh, my dude's going to die. No, pr protect him. And then the other two games, or hopefully just one other game, you're just like, yeah, they have to think about that constantly. Yeah, because it's it's going to be a, a thing that you're just like, hey, it's like my dude's indestructible yeah. like, in a way. And I killed your dude because he's bigger now. Yeah. Uh, the other three, they're kind of like, they're for board wipes is what they're there for, and they work together. First off is Sandstorm, and it is a red chant rune, but, but it costs red less to play from a rune area, and it's Divinity 1. And this card deals 200 damage to each resonator your opponent controls. So essentially, it's free, deal 2 damage to their, your opponent's yeah. board. Any deck can run it. Yeah, yeah. White, blue, green, anything. Yeah. And then I have Jet Black Wings, which is Lucifer's other rune that's in the deck, and it's 2 black and 1 for Divinity 3. Resonate is your opponent's control, get minus six, minus six, and it is quick cast. Pretty good. So you can use it during their attack phase. If they're swinging at you, you're just like, hey, your dudes get minus six, minus six. Or you can use it in conjunction with Sandstorm and essentially killed eight eights. Yeah. Because you minus six of them and then you do two to them. So they're only like eight twos. <laughs> or you can use my new favorite card in this set. Like it's, it's so strong. It's ridiculous. It hurts <laughs> so much. Ruined Earth. So it's 5 mana for Divinity 2 Chant Rune. You may pay 1 less to play this card from a rune area. So it costs 4. Yeah. And destroy target Magic Stone. Resonate as your opponent's control. Get minus 4, minus 4 until the end of the turn. See, that doesn't sound fair at all for 4 mana. <laughs> yeah. It really doesn't. 4 mana, I get to kill a Magic Stone. And your dudes get smaller. And if I have a Sandstorm as well, that's minus 6 technically. You just deal 6 to the board. Like, you deal two and then minus four, so it's yeah. equal to six. If they go full aggro and you have an Energize, then on turn three, you just wipe their board and yeah. put them back a stone. Yeah, and if, if you watched our deck brawl, you got to see me do that. I was like, turn three, Energize, kill your stone. Yeah. And it's it's just silly, turn three. It was devastating. 
And because turn three, you're playing little dudes, most likely. And it kills like all the little dudes, Lorites, the Kataros, all of the little dudes. Yeah. You're just like, ah, all those dudes die. It's pretty wild. But that is the divinity. You get the full five, which it totals up to nine. So it's it's cool, but you, it's worth it. Use them every game. And yeah, I mean, yeah, it's, it's, it's worth it. Uh, but with that, we'll move into the actual deck and what we got for it. Now, I know you might hate for this card, but it actually kind of worked out. So it's a Fanatic of Grief. The first creature we have is a one darkness, four, four. And there's a battlefield. You, your opponent reveals the hand. That's all it is. That's really all it's for is just to give you information. Yep. And that that is the key to play in this deck is knowing what they have and how to play around it. Yeah. Because even if you don't have the other card that helps with that in the deck, you still know what they're playing. And then, of course, I'm going to say this <laughs> backwards because it sounds better. Underling of Blazer Thieves Guild, or gang. It's a 1 Darkness, 1 six, 6 When this card enters the field, each player discards a card. It's each player, but that's okay, because you're going to always have more cards than your opponent. Yes. Yeah, and I mean, if you have extras of them, you discard those instead, or just whatever you need to. Yeah, and also to help out with the discarding, Spectre of the Abyss, 2 Darkness and 1. 7 6 Flyer, which is pretty good in general, and then enters a, your opponent discards a card. Yeah, so... The first three cards are all about information. Yeah. Like you make them discard cards, you get to see their hand and know what they're doing. And that's 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 this deck's purpose is to be like, hey, discard your hand, do some things. What's the next all-star of the deck here? Alright, so new guy that we have in the deck is Estima, the returnee of hatred, and this card is insane. Like it's so like so he's three mana, two dark and one for a seven six flyer. He's a fallen angel slash wonder. Comes into play, your opponent loses five life. If you have three or more runes shown, you gain five life. So that's, that's already a plus. Good. You can pay four life or 400 life and draw a card. Yeah. Play this ability only during your turn and only once per turn. That sounds good. At least they put a cap on it. That's <laughs> first off. <laughs> All right. Or you can pay 10,000 or 1,000 life. Your opponent loses 500. Play this ability only once during your turn and only, only during your turn. That, that's good. So, that might sound bad, but it's good. Yeah, because like... The reason that's a good ability is because you're almost likely going to be ahead of them in this kind of a deck because you're trying to control the board real hard. And if you're ahead of them, you just get that extra little damage when you need it. Yeah. So you're like, oh, you're at 10, take five. And I lose 10, but that's okay. Exactly. And it works real well with one of our big dudes of the deck, and we'll get to him. And uh, if I had to pick a waifu from the first of all in general because <laughs> everyone else has, it would definitely be her. Yeah, she's, she's pretty awesome. She's awesome. All right, the next one is Azazel, the Fallen Angel of Gloom. <clears throat> two Darkness, two, a 9-10 for four Flyer. That's good stats. Solid. You may pay two less if your opponent has one or less cards in your hand, which will happen really quickly. So it's a two mana 9-10 yeah. Flyer. Yeah. And then it enters, choose one. Look at the top two cards of your deck, put a card among them into your hand, and the rest in the graveyard. Seems good. Or to target two Resonators your opponent's controls, your opponent banishes one of them. Yeah. So Value. It's... It, 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 yeah, she's at Value City. Yeah. That's where she that's where she belongs. Because you're like, two mana, I get a 9-10 flyer if they have one card in hand. And you get to choose either to kill two dudes, or do like, they kill one dude. Or you look at the top two and get a card. Yeah. <laughs> it's too good. It's just really so good. So strong in this deck, because you're already making them discard your cards, so you're going to get down to, they have one card in hand or less. Yeah. And then on turn four, you could possibly play two of these if you have them, and then it just, it's wild from there. And it goes downhill for your opponent from there. Yeah, immediately. Um, but if you don't get her going, we have another four drop that's really, really strong, and he is Blazer the Legendary Thief. So black and three for an 8-8 eight, eight with precision. And when this card enters the field, look at your opponent's hand and discard a card. The, yeah, you choose a card, they discard it, yeah. and then he gets a 1-1 one, one counter. Yep. And you can remove a 1-1 one, one counter from him, Choose one. Remove an attacking J slash resonator battling with this card or cancel target spell or ability targeting this card. Yeah. So he's built in discard and he's got built in protection. Yeah. I, Just for four mana. Yeah. I, great. Sure, I'm an 8-8, eight, eight, but I don't care because yeah. I'll, I'll kill that thing that I need to or I'll swing into this and make my dude not deal damage. Yeah. So strong. It's just really good. And then the big heavy hitter of the deck that I have is Belial, the evil from the scriptures. Might as well. And so he's six mana for a 12-12 flying fallen angel. If your life is at 10 or less, you may pay three less to play this card from. And then he comes into play. You destroy all non-fallen angel resonators. And whenever a resonator is put into a graveyard from the field, this card deals one damage to, to your opponent. 
So him with Estima makes your life easy. Because Estima, you're just like, pay 10, pay 4. Pay my life down to 10. Yeah. And then this dude costs 3 to kill the board. It, mm. It's just one of the things you can do if you need to. Yeah. I, w I wouldn't say do it all the time because it's real dangerous to play that <laughs> yeah. game. If maybe you're playing a good like mid against a mid range deck, yeah, yeah that would be good. But having a Belial for three mana instead of six is pretty broken. Like it, it's really, it, really strong. It, yeah, it really is. And to keep on with the trend, if I had a husband, it, <laughs> it would definitely be him. It was ridiculous. All right, now that is all the creatures, all the fallen angels here. Uh, the first one, Glint of Insight, that helps with the fanatic of grief to mm -hmm. play turn one. Uh, one darkness, name a card your opponent reveals hand and discards all cards and share the same name with that named card. You can remove two mystery counters from the J-Roller. This card gains a remnant, which means you can play it from the grave. Yeah. Which is ridiculous. So this card is the reason that the Fanatic's in the deck. Mm -hmm. And so you already know their information. So you play the Fanatic turn one, turn two you play Glint, and you can play it again. And just get two to three cards out. And if they have doubles in their hand, you just call that card and you're like, y'all, Yo, both your Lorettes are gone. Just get out of here. Or both your Pathway parts or any number of cards. But it Glint's just super strong because it gets multiple copies at a time. And if anything, it just lets you see their hand as well, just for the information. Yeah, and always don't, don't be afraid to just, like, cold call it because you may get lucky. And, like, the reason I say that is because if you're playing, if they turn one a Greenstone... You're already gonna assume that Lorite's probably in their hand, yeah. or a Fair Spell, or a Lorite's Disciple, or even like a Karura. All four of those are good cards to get rid of them yeah. from their hand if you if they have them. So don't don't be afraid to just go for it. And if you get one, cool. If you don't, you know their hand. You can play it again. Especially it depends like your local area. If it's all super meta or brew or you know local, you know who you're playing against yeah. most of the time. So you're like, I know what to call. Yeah. Uh, now, tell us about Soul Concentration here. All right, so Soul Concentration is the next card that I got, and it is one uh, one Darkness Quick Cast. You either put three Mystery Counters on your J Ruler or put two 1-1 one -one Counters on target J slash Resident you control. So it's there just to help you get the Mystery Counters to give to get the Glint back Yeah, is, is mainly its purpose, but I like it also because it gives your dudes more power. Like, it gives the Steema the two to save, him life, save his life from silly spells. Yeah. Or you can put two counters back on Blazer to just be like, hey, don't target him again. <laughs> right. Or prevent that damage. So it just, it helps you in the long run. It's it's a little weird. It's definitely a card you could cut from the deck if you wanted to, but I wanted to use it just because I needed the mystery counter support. And it's just one darkness, the quick cast. Like, mm -hmm. it's not much of a cost to actually do. Yeah. Now, this next one is ridiculous. Embrace of Darkness. Two darkness, quick cast. Destroy target resonator with total cost three or less, which is kind of quite a bit nowadays. Yeah, so I underestimated this card and how good it is, mm -hmm. but one of our locals here told us that I need to check at it again, and I, I did. I decided to give it a shot, and yeah, this card is busted. Like it, because it kills Lorite, kills Disciples, mm -hmm. every mermaid practically, <laughs> minus like two. And most of Kyrick's dudes. Yeah, it literally kills every deck, every card in Kyrick minus an Ultra Dragon. Um, it just kills like all the main things that are played right now. It can kill for two mana. Yeah, and you you have no drawback because you're just like ah kill that dude. Thanks. So I, it's definitely worth looking into if you need a kill spell for black. And also speaking of another kill spell that does pretty much everything, life severing blade, one darkness, two quick cast. If resonator you control is put in the graveyard, this field from this turn, pay two less, and then destroy target resonator. So for one darkness potentially you just do whatever mm -hmm. you want. So if you have a dude that you're able to block with, you say block, and then you play Power of Immortality to put that dude back into play if he dies. Then you kill him from blocking, and you get to life serving blade their other dude. Yeah. And you get your dude back. Yeah. So you lose no value. <laughs> you just get to kill their dude. And since all your dudes have entered a play, like bonuses. It's <laughs> yeah. It just helps. Down. Yeah. And the final card of the deck is uh, Lucifer's new Chant slash Master Rune in yeah. Soul Prison. This card is insane. Like I, I say that a super lot, good. but these cards are really actually that good. So it's six mana for Divinity three, but that doesn't matter because we're playing it as a chant. Yeah. Uh, but it costs three less to play as long as the ruler you play is Lucifer. So doesn't matter. It doesn't have to be in the rune area. It just says three less as long as Lucifer is your ruler. Yeah. And then target resident gets minus zero, minus one thousand. 
until the end of turn. If that card is put into a graveyard from the field, put it into play under your control. <sighs> it's like one of our new favorite cards. It's so strong. Like, no. there's very few cards it does not kill. Yeah. Right now in the new Frontier format. And what nice. it doesn't kill, Black Rosario does. So if you have five mana, you just like target that thing and you sack two dudes. Yeah. That dude's still going to go to the graveyard. So his the ability of Soul Prison still triggers that you get it. Or you Sandstorm and then play that and you get it. Because it's until end of turn. Like it doesn't matter. Yeah. It, Sandstorm with it lets you kill a 12 drop or like, a 12 something. Like no one listen to us during Flourishing Hope Times because we <laughs> praise the hell out of that card. This is a card to get. Yeah. Soul Prison is it's, definitely another card that's it strong. It is insane for the power of three mana. Yeah, three mana I get to get your Mosasaur and use its ability against you, or again, three mana, this card destroys everything in Kyrie minus an Ultra Dragon. So your Pyel that you're so proud of, kill it. You yeah. can't even put double strength counter it to save it. Yeah. It, and we were just talking about the the returning of hatred. Just the fact she comes into play, you know, minus five, you gain five, you can pay 500 or 10,000 to make them deal five, then you soul prison for it to all happen again. Yeah, you just, you just get like, all the value. You just you blow do that, up. They've lost 15 life in that one turn, and you didn't really lose anything but gain some life. And maybe draw some cards too while you're at it. Because <clears throat> yeah. it's a new card when it comes back into play, so therefore the abilities can trigger again. Yeah, it's so strong. Like, soul prison just allows for some silly, silly plays. Yeah. Definitely look into playing it. I would still use his uh, Master Rune, his actual one, as his actual one. Because it's good. Because it, it's super strong. Yeah. Uh, the stones, they're really simple. We have four Magic Stone of Corruption in case you need to get that one card out of their hand. And it's just produce a black or tap two black. Do it's just card. Your opponent discards a card. Plays ability only during your turn. Simple as that. It's there just to give you that if you need that extra card out of their hand. And then we have two Darkness Stones. And then we have four of the Mystery Stone, which comes into play and it gives you a Mystery Counter. Or it adds a black. Yeah. That's the stones. They're super simple because you're just doing the straight line, discard your cards. But that's it for the deck, guys. Uh, definitely look into playing it for New Frontiers if you need something that you want to play this weekend. It's totally worth it. It's super strong. Uh, and Rune Earth, awesome. But if you want to see the deck list, it'll be down below, guys. Thank you for joining us here today at Geektopia Island, and y'all have a wonderful day. Goodbye. Also, guys, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe to our channel, and if you want to keep up to date on all of our future content, make sure you tap that bell. And go ahead and check us out on our streams. Don't forget to support us on Patreon, and thank you for staying here on the island. Later, guys. Bye.